Ooh. 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 I'm so hung. <laughs> hey, let's see that block there. I didn't even think think about it. Getting better. <laughs> Getting in there. <laughs> Gotta stop blocking your punches with my face. Interesting start to our conversation considering what we're watching. What are we watching? No reason to hit a woman oh, by Bill Burr. My fucking god. Yes. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. Mm. <laughs> Boy, I'm sure glad St. Pat's Day is over with. I gotta Yeah, you can I, I can cut back on the drinking for a bit. Out on the drinking. <laughs> Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> you know, gotta take it easy. It's my birthday in a couple of days, so you know. <laughs> we gotta slow down between holidays and celebrations, you know? Pace ourselves. I always like it when we do a St. Patty's Day video about drinking. It's the first one we've ever <laughs> done. <laughs> I always like it when we do that. It's like. <clears throat> and then we drink after and before, and yeah. Anyhow. I don't know. Let me scratch my arm. What do you think? The lawn gnome is itchy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is there any reason to hit a woman? Mm -hmm. Same reason you have to hit a man. Okay. If you're an asshole and you deserve it. Oh. Sometimes, you know, like, you know, it depends on your but, definition. But what of about the stigma? The stigma. I know plenty of guys where they tried to get a woman to stop them from blocking a door or some shit. And the the guy shoved them or something and they're like, oh my god, he hit me. <laughs> you know? That's not really hitting. Yeah. But the guy still got in trouble for it. Yeah. That's stupid. You know? So realistically then, nobody should hit anybody. No, but... You know, yeah. you're an asshole and you deserve it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there, there might be some exceptional times where yeah. you could apply that. Well, like if I need to defend myself, I could hit a woman or or a man. Well, that's different. Yeah, if you hit well. a woman, yeah. You know, a woman hits a woman or a man hits a man. It's different in, in stigma wise, but. A guy will definitely get in trouble more than a woman would. Like, I don't mind getting hit in the shoulder like if you slap me in the shoulder i don't mind like if, this that's right i don't mind that what but if, if I, you slap me in the I, face what if i do it harder if you slap me in the face that deserves a push at least <laughs> you really want to do that don't you i really do <laughs> it's like I'm, no, i think it, if, if you better. slap me in the face it at least deserves a push from the man <laughs> <laughs> just not down a flight of stairs or anything. I go flying across the room. <laughs> <laughs> and that would that would also bring in equal force as well. Right. When you think about you know, See, I couldn't, people. I couldn't hit you. you know. I wouldn't I wouldn't even dream of it. But a push might be okay if you if you slap me in the face. Unless I'm standing on the top of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. that would, no, it depends. That, that wouldn't be equal force. You know, when you fucking Give somebody a shove so hard that their neck fucking whiplash. Well, that's different, they, yeah. You know, their head hits the side of a fucking curve or yeah. something. Yeah. That's different. So it's all, yeah. You know, it's all relative. It's got to be relative to the... Yeah, that's the same if, like, let's say a football player in high school, for example, was to shove somebody like that, another boy, for example, who's, like, fucking half or a quarter of their size if they're yeah. playing football against each other it's open no, game no 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 fuck i'm not talking about football i'm talking about somebody with that build oh that i see strength okay. yeah. shoving or pushing somebody with massive force you know that's like a quarter of their size yeah you know exactly yeah it's not a fair fight with great power comes great responsibility but then if the <laughs> it, but if the little guy is like sitting there like in his face just like calling him names and He's just got to grab him by the head and go like that. <laughs> slap him in the face. And keep walking. No, not slap him. Yep. Just go like, go down and pick him up from the head. Yeah, and probably like, drop him. It'd be pretty easy to keep someone I think it should all be on a case-by-case, individual-by-individual basis. Should and be. if women want equality, which I agree with, mm -hmm. then they should also. 
Okay, equality. Be ready. Thing, but like, don't parade around with fucking vagina hats on. Like, yeah. I don't know. Okay, maybe that's going a little out of bounds, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> well, Bill Burr talks about a lot of that, so let's get his take on it. Mm. Uh, now, I, I am fairly familiar with Bill Burr, but you are not, so this will be good um, to see how you react. And maybe I haven't seen parts of it either, so we'll see how I react. And then we'll discuss after <laughs> your opinions. <laughs> it shoved off the chair so, randomly for no reason. Yeah, there's a reason. <laughs> and for $9.99, you could see Lucy and I wrestle in the snow after this video. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. I don't know if we got anywhere in that. No. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for The View, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she no. didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? <laughs> it's gonna fucking rust, right? <laughs> How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah! Now I get it, up to daisy sweetheart, here we go. There you go, oh. Oh, fuck us, So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You can wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But go. to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying. Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? There you go. <laughs> Every day. You didn't do it, that right? That was me. I was there. That was you. Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers, you gotta move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's gonna stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons. Yeah in that arc of a story. It's more of a strangle, I think, than a hit that you right, want to do that. was a hypothetical. That. You want an actual story? I'll give you one. That. I'll give you one. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> So I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I, I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. Be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. So I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up, my girl I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. Yep. She goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, yep. why can't you just say no? Why do you always got to, like, waterboard me with, like, a 20-minute explanation that eventually <laughs> winds its way around to go, fuck yourself. Just say no. So I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's fucking goddamn bullshit. Dog's walking next to me. My dog's run out. And I gotta admit, I got a little childish. Oh, I did. I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me? Fine, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. 
So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. And now you're that down. was it. She came down the hall. I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I got to tell you something. She worked like work a really charm. Well. Worked like a charm. Yeah. Hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. <laughs> oh, it's one of the highlights of the relationship. So I knew what she was saying. I was like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poo, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurt. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. <laughs> Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put them on third time. She comes up, poof, slaps them right across the room. And I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> ah, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. <laughs> just leave her there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. No, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What, is, what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special <laughs> during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever? <laughs> answer him! Answer him! <laughs> That's good. Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always, right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I love this. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. Oh. <laughs> That's good enough. Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman is a bad thing, okay? What, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? <laughs> how did this snake get so mad? It almost killed you. <laughs> Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. <laughs> how did it start? Here's an oily rag. Right? <laughs> Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start <laughs> swinging, all right? I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist, God. they should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, Tuna ladies, casserole. can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? <laughs> they understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? <laughs> oh my God. You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baston Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? He fucking, 
You know, what do you think? Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. <laughs> right? To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh, my God, I'll bring my own. I'll bring my own. <laughs> <laughs> now fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know? And I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. She I'm gonna tell you sense. something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> have I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right, no problem with that, totally respect it. But here's the thing, if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. Totally designed, this desperate, Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. <laughs> That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one. That's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is, my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! <laughs> that isn't music! <laughs> So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know where she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I lose my shit. Oh Next my thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere. Okay, you're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? <laughs> That's right. Yes, lean on the ropes, let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at him. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. Uh. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's a champagne of victory. I fucked up. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So I think his philosophy is sound. So you don't hit a woman, but there's plenty of reasons to. Because like of the way you they don't argue. hit a man, but there are plenty of reasons yeah, to. Yeah, it's funny. No, I, I think I think he obviously is generalizing, but yeah, <clears throat> because I, I think there are just psycho people, and then some <clears throat> yeah men or women who are just way too submissive. Yeah, you know? yeah, and it's a balance. But you know how he was saying, oh, you know women just saying nasty shit yeah. or men for example like ah oh, your dick's too small or that's why you're gonna grow up alone you know what I that's think not okay i think that's, that's you, saying shit is, like that is not okay younger couples i think do that no i think older people do too. i don't know if older couples do it as much now dysfunctional older people do say things like that well i guess maybe yeah, yeah. i'd be generalizing too but i, I would yeah. think the maturity level sometimes it's no. just when you, you start losing a fight, you start throwing those insults in. Rather There's than... a difference in age, between age and maturity. And dysfunction is just dysfunction. It doesn't matter how old you are. It could are. be dysfunction at 50. You know, everybody's going to argue and everybody's going to fight, but there's a good <laughs> way of fighting and arguing and there's a bad way of doing yes. it. Yes, <clears throat> there is. Yeah, that's right. Agreed. It's okay to fight, just... Don't beat the shit out of your partner. <laughs>
Basically is what it's Bella hard, was saying. <laughs> it's hard to take the emotion out of an argument. You know what though? If you take the emotional out, then you can, you can. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to feel that emotion. It's how you react to those emotions that make a difference. Right, but but when you're emotional, sometimes you got to go. Okay, let's talk about this later. Oh, yeah. Of That's course. what I mean. Because otherwise, you know, and sometimes it's not even. You're just volatile, right? You just need to think about how you need to address the situation. Now. When you're volatile, you you tend to say things you don't want to say. Volatile being the keyword. Yeah. All right. We're going to stop now and we're going to go have an epic battle. And then we'll be back with bruises and lumped up Rihanna faces. <laughs> it was fun. So. That was good. Good Bill Burr. Interesting and good. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you later, folks.